the next step now is to create your first test project you go to tools go to new go to project now i'll quickly explain this so because we are creating a test project ensure that we use a test template i know some automation tester we use net core and they will use uh, class library but i don't think that is a right approach to to use so i would rather use the test framework then use the unit test framework that is already been set so that would be the template I we advise people to to use use the test template and then unit test project that's what we're going to to be using so then after you've selected those two then the next step is for you to write the name of your project let's call this training and then we can now browse and go to the session we want to put it in let's create another training three and put that in training three well the name of our project will be called training and so um because we are not going to be adding to any source control we we'll leave that as unchecked or we're going to be creating a directory for our solution so we therefore leave this checkbox checked so that it will allow our solution to be created inside a directory so having done that we click ok now our solution is now created and i will quickly explain these three windows your solution is created and is now displayed in the solution explorer for instance if your solution explorer window is not displayed like if that is scanned so you need to go to view and click on solution explorer to bring that up again then also this solution explorer you you've got your solution which is what we created before is training and now we have our project at this level you can have many projects in one solution that means we can create another project called training one or training two in this particular solution so then we have your properties and you have your packet configuration and you have your unit test um, test class that you we've or is already automatically added for us but because we are not going to be using uh, end unit test we are going to be creating ui test uh, i will delete that for now before i do that i want to talk about this session 
this section which is your test explorer displays your test as you can see this is unit test that we've already have yeah which is unit test so but as we create our tests we also going to be seeing those tests listed in our test explorer and you have this window which is where you're going to be writing your code but, okay let's go ahead and delete this because we don't want that we are not writing unit test so and that should go away cool so, now for you to refresh your code uh, as in a layman language you need to rebuild your solution you can right click as i've done right click and let that finish and that is a building i just want to show you again what i did so that's already built so let's do the right click and then you click click and build solution so when you do that you're going to see the status being displayed there uh, build solution and you should be able to see what the status of the solution is that is your first test project created